Today I want to share with you how I cook bacon in the oven and there's no rack involved so it's very easy cleanup. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broth, ferments, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about those things, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click on the little notification bell below. That'll let you know every time I upload a new video. I really like to cook bacon in the oven, but I don't like cooking it on a rack because the rack is such a mess afterwards and it's such a big job to clean. So I found that you really don't need to use this rack, but you can get your bacon just as crispy in the oven as if you had used this rack. Now the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you want to get some aluminum foil or some parchment paper. And all you're going to need is a baking sheet. And you can have multiple baking sheets if you want, if you want to do multiple batches at one time. Now, if you decide to use parchment paper, make sure that the piece that you use is larger than your baking sheet. And all you'll want to do is just press it down like this in the bacon. When you put the bacon on here, it's going to weight it down as well. And that's all you need to do. Then all you're going to do is lay your bacon down onto this parchment paper and then when your bacon is cooked and you've plated it, all you can do is lift up this parchment paper and discard it and your baking sheet is clean. And if you decide to use aluminum foil, you want to do the same thing that you did with the parchment paper. Just make sure that it's bigger than your baking sheet and then you can just tuck this down and with aluminum foil, you can actually crunch it all around to cover your baking sheet completely. You're going to place your bacon on it and when you're done, you're just going to be able to pick up your aluminum foil and discard it and again, your baking sheet's clean. Well, today I'm going to use aluminum foil and I've got it all tucked under nicely and then I'm just going to start laying my bacon down just in strips like this. And as I'm laying down my bacon, I just want to mention to you that uh, be sure to check the description below underneath my video because I have a coupon code for 15% off if you want to buy bacon from U.S. Wellness Meats. And for those of you on keto or low-carb diets, they, have, they sell sugar-free bacon. And all of their products are wonderful. They're all organic and grass-fed, and they've got beef bones, they've got chicken feet, they've got steaks, they've got pork, pretty much everything. So be sure to check that description below for that coupon code. It's for its 15% off, so it's a nice discount. Well, I've got my bacon all lied out on my baking sheet. My oven just came up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven, and it's going to take anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. It really depends on the thickness of your bacon, but I'll check it at 15 minutes, and once it's nice and crispy, I'll take it out and I'll show you how great it looks. Well, look at this glorious bacon. I checked it at 15 minutes, it needed a few more minutes, and then when it was nice and crispy looking and with a nice golden brown color, I took it out of the oven. Well, I washed my platter and I washed my tongs and I just put down some paper towels uh, on, the, on the platter and all you need to do is just take your bacon, look at that, it's beautifully crisp, and we're just going to drain it on these paper towels to get any excess grease off. And once I get one layer draining on my paper towels, I like to cover that and then get the next pieces of bacon onto this top paper towel to drain. And now that I've got all the bacon off of my baking pan, my baking sheet, I'm going to put another paper towel on the last set and then uh, I'm just going to let that rest a little bit to let all of the grease be absorbed by the paper towels. Now while that bacon's resting, I'm just going to drain off the bacon fat into a little container here that I'm going to save because this is wonderful uh, for using in so many ways. You can saute vegetables with it, potatoes, it's just delicious. So don't waste this, definitely save it. And once the pan cools down and you can handle it, you just remove your aluminum foil, or your parchment paper, whatever you've used, and into the garbage it goes. No worry about having to wash that rack and your baking sheet is nice and clean too. And this method can be used for cooking any type of bacon. So if you want to put brown sugar 
or maple sugar or date sugar or rapadura, whatever type of, or a sucanat, whatever type of sugar that you like to use, and you want to make that nice sugared bacon, this is such an easy way to do it. Just sprinkle it on top, you're going to cook it the same way, and it's going to come out beautiful every time. And you don't have to worry about trying to clean that rack, that especially when you've, if you've ever tried making bacon with sh different types of sugars on those racks, they really can be tough to clean afterwards. So this way, boom, you take your parchment paper or your aluminum foil off, and you're done. Look at this beautifully crisp bacon. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. So I hope you'll give cooking bacon in the oven a try. And if you'd like to learn more about traditional cooking, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video over here where I show you how to make homemade mayonnaise that's also probiotic rich and perfect for a BLT. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.